Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the YouTube channel Plantastic. Today we are going to look at the components of the media. What are the components of the plant tissue culture media? It consists of inorganic nutrients, organic nutrients, plant growth regulator PGR, other supplements, and undefined supplements as well as jowling agents. Inorganic nutrients consist of macronutrients and micronutrients. Potassium, which usually involve in the normal cell division, synthesis of proteins and chlorophyll. Magnesium is the component of the chlorophyll molecule. Calcium is the constituent of the cell wall, involved in the regulation of hormonal response, play preemptive role in morphogenesis. The deficiency of calcium will lead to shoot tip necrosis. Nitrogen constituent of amino acids, vitamins, nucleic acids, and protein. It influences the pH of the media, and also NH4 positive is necessary for somatic embryogenesis in cell and callus culture. Phosphorus, it involves in cell division, storage, and transfer of energy in terms of adenosine mono, di, and triphosphate. Sulfur, which present in some amino acids and proteins. Iron, it is a part of the certain enzymes which serve to oxidize phenolic substances. Copper, it is part of the certain oxidative enzymes which serve to oxidize phenolic substances. Zinc, it is the component of enzymes concerned with the synthesis of IA precursor tryptophan, and the deficiency of zinc will lead to leaf chlorosis. Molybdenum. It is the component of some plant enzymes for nitrogen metabolism. Boron has no non exact role but implicated in enhancing of sugar movement in plants. Thiamine, which is known as the vitamin B1, it involves in biosynthesis of certain amino acids, also plays as a cofactor in carbohydrate metabolism, indirect synergistically with cytokinins. Ascorbic acid, vitamin C, which acts as the antioxidant that prevents blackening during explant isolation. Myoinositol, which involves in signal transduction, acts as the second messenger to primary action of all scenes. It functions as a carrier and in storage of the IAA as IAA myoinositol ester. It is the precursor of pectin, hemicellulose that require for cell wall. Sucrose, which serves as the carbon and energy as well as osmotic agent. The organic nutrients are vitamins and amino acids, as well as the sugar in the form of the maltose, galactose, sucrose, mannose, and lactose. Sugar is one of the carbohydrates which consists of the element carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. In carbohydrate autotrophy, the cells and tissues are strongly rely on the carbohydrate as carbon source. In plant tissue culture, sugar can be categorized into pure sugar and sugar alcohol. There are a few types of sugar which are monosaccharides, for example, glucose, fructose, galactose, and malnose, which are reducing sugar. Pentoses, such as arabinose, ribose, and xylose, which has slow reduction property. Disaccharides, such as sucrose, maltose, salobiose, trihalose, Lactose. Most of the disaccharides are reducing sugar except sucrose and trihalose which are non-reducing sugar. After the process of hydrolysis, sucrose will break down into glucose and fructose. Well maltose, cellobios, and trihalose will break down into glucoses. Lactose will break down into glucose and galactose. The last class of the sugar is trisaccharides, which is raffinose. It is non-reducing sugar which hydrolyzes into glucose, galactose, and fructose. Among all, sucrose is the most preferred sugar in plant tissue culture. This is because plants utilize glucose. There are few research studies about the types of the sugar in which the concentration of the glucose will be significantly reduced after the sterilization process. However, the, after the sterilization process, they found that the breakdown of the sucrose eventually will increase in the production of glucose and fructose. In this case, after the breakdown or the hydrolysis, the glucose 
will be available for the plant. That's why sucrose is most preferred sugar in plant tissue culture. Sugar alcohols, for example, manito and sopito. They are not usually to be used or metabolized by the plant. Therefore, they are unavailable as the carbon source. However, most of the osmotic studies will use the sugar alcohols in the research. Plant growth regulators that added into the media, which are the osins, cytokinins, gibberellins, ethylenes, abscisic acid. You may refer to the other two videos about the plant growth regulators. There are also other supplements that can be added into plant tissue culture media, for example, polyamines that promote the organogenesis and somatic embryogenesis, tiba, which is 2,3,5-triiodobenzoic acid that inhibit the osin polar transport, fluorogrucinol, which promote the rooting in rosaceous fruit trees, for example, apple, antibiotics, and activated charcoal. Antibiotics is the substance that produced by the plants or microorganisms or that can be made synthetically. Antibiotics has toxic effect on other microorganisms by retarding or preventing the growth of such microorganisms or eventually the antibiotics can kill the microorganisms. However, it is not very recommended to use in micropropagation because it is quite ineffective. We have prepared the antibiotics through the filter sterilization and we add the filtered antibiotics after the autoclave process into the media. Activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is frequently added to rooting media to absorb the root inhibiting agents. Not the difference here, we use A dot S O R boy. We don't use A boy S O R boy. This is because the adsorb with boy, the alphabet B is to take in the nutrients or to take in something. For a dog donkey, is to adhere, is to catch something in non-scientifically way of explanation. Activated charcoal is also used to provide the dark conditions, which is the absence of light to promote rooting. This is because most of the roots are growing underground, which is in dark condition. It is also used to absorb toxic phenolic compounds that is harmful to the plants, also the root initiates. However, activated charcoal will absorb everything that is inside the media, which included nutrients and plant growth regulators. We also can add undefined supplements. For example, casein hydroxylate, coconut water, corn milk, potato extract, meat extract, malt extract, yeast extract, fruit juices such as tomato, orange, pineapple, and banana. However, the active constituents may vary quantitatively and qualitatively with the edge, location of the samples, and also the natural factors of the source tissue and genotypes of the plant thus affecting the reproducibility of the results, which means that every time you add these undefined supplements, the results will vary from time to time. But, there are some synthetic chemical extracts, such as beef extract and banana powder extract in powder form. Certain suppliers, they also have chemical-based coconut water in which the components of the coconut water and all these synthetic extracts are consistent, thus giving the consistent results, but they are not cost-friendly. Here are some functions of the supplements. Yeast extract, which used to enhance plant growth. Potato extract, which is useful for agriculture that increase the number of pollen of a plant produced. Malt extract, which you mainly use in citrus those days and initiate the embryogenesis. Banana homogenate, which widely used in the orchid tissue culture to promote growth and also stabilize the pH of the media. Coconut water, it contains minerals and nutrients as well as growth promoting factors that are similar function to cytokinin and osins. If you come across some articles, they will mention coconut milk 
Basically, they are referring to coconut water. To be specific, coconut water is the transparent or cloudy solution inside the coconut. The coconut milk is the santan, which is the murky color or white color. Until now, banana homogenate and coconut water are still widely used as compared to other undefined supplements due to their efficiency in promoting growth in plant tissue culture. A tip for you here is, if you want to use coconut water, you may take a little bit of the coconut water and drink it and test it before you use it in plant tissue culture media. This is because there will be fermentation in some coconut water in which the quality of the coconut water is reduced when it is fermented. Gelling agent Gelling agent must be inert to all the chemicals withstand sterilization by autoclave, be the liquid when it is hot for dispense into different containers, be as semi-solid at room temperature. However, for me, I won't use the term semi-solid. This is because in another book, they mentioned that the term solid is actually the solid, which are the rock, the table, the metal, the kind of solid. In the book, they mentioned it is better you use gel medium or agar medium as the replacement of the term semi-solid medium. There are a few types of gelling agents, which are the agar, that can be added at 0.8 to 1%, which obtained from the red algae. The firmness of the media depends on the concentration of the agar added and also the pH of the media. It often solidifies at 45 degrees Celsius. Agarose, which always added at 0.4 to 1%. It is a purifying agar to remove the agaropectin. However, it is much costlier, which is able to melt at 30 degrees Celsius. Jalan gum, which can be added at 0.1 to 0.2%. It is obtained from bacterium, which marketed as gelrite and phytogel. It consists of divalence cations, which are calcium and magnesium ions. Jalangang gives the high clarity which is very suitable for the beginners to detect the contamination, especially the bacterial contamination. It is suitable for a wide range of pH. Ipsco. Ipsco can be added at 3% which is commonly used in India that obtained from the husk of plantago ovata seeds. Before we end our video, let us look into the pH of the medium. The pH of the medium influences the uptake of the ingredients, the solubility of the salt and gelling efficiency of the agar. This means that the availability of the nutrients is strongly depends on the pH. It also influences the gel texture. Around the pH range 5.7 to 5.8, all sorts are maintained near buffer form. The pH of the medium generally drops by 0.3 to 0.5 units after sterilization process. However, the decrease in the units are strongly depends on the grade of the chemicals. Occasionally, you can add some organic buffering agents such as TRIS, TRISIN, MES, HEPES, CAPS. Don't forget to subscribe, share and turn on notification. Please like us at the Facebook page and also follow us at the Instagram. If you have any inquiries on collaboration, please email to plantastic.mind at gmail.com. This is not a sponsored video and I would like to share with every one of you the reference I used in this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.